Hey there, golfers. I'm Drew Mahold at the Second Swing Minnetonka location here in the tour van. Uh, Thomas Campbell's joining me here, and he's got the Shrixon ZX Utility Iron. I uh, knew from Shrixon here towards the end of 2020, but really for 2021. Uh, we're going to take a look at it, hit some shots, gather some of Thomas's feedback here, um, and just discuss why it's going to be a great option for golfers moving forward here. So, um, you know, we I'll first encourage all golfers just looking at this to uh, maybe subscribe to our YouTube channel and give us a like. Uh, you know, tell your friends about our channel. Uh, we get you know, we love doing these videos, um, whether it's a club review, whether it's an instructional thing from Thomas. Uh, we love putting these out and getting the feedback from you guys. So, um, and now we'll get into Shrixon ZX Utility. Hollow body utility iron. Those are becoming more and more popular now, Thomas. Um, first impression looking down at it, what do you see? Very clean, compact looking utility club. I think it's going to blend very well from the ZX7s especially. Mm -hmm. I noticed looking at the specs that the uh, offset not, is very, very similar and then the top line is very, very similar with them as well. Actually the offset number is the exact same with the ZX7, I think it's 3.6 millimeters with the forearm and also the 2, 3 and 4 with the utility okay. iron. So they're the exact same, so they'll help blend regards to bag yeah. but you mentioned the hollow bodies this yeah. is going to be a tad more forgiving probably a little more juiced with regards right. to distance so kind of appealing to the better players you think maybe with the appearance right because they got a you know it at a dress it's going to with the offset with the top line it's going to look like a player's iron um, and then it's just built with you know the wider sole and the hollow body of a utility iron and again uh, a ton of players now especially kind of your better more higher swing speed players are going away from hybrids uh, maybe training in hybrids at second swing, and then they're going into a utility iron. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm excited to test this. We have the, the three iron, so this has got 20 degrees of lock okay. on it. There is a two with 18 and also a four with 23 degrees of lock, depending on what you're trying to achieve in your game. Right, right, and that kind of fits in with, you know, there might be players that want two or all three of them in their bag, depending on how the gapping works with their iron set. and. For you know, the viewers that haven't seen our video on the ZX5 and ZX7 irons, you could put together a combo set of ZX5 irons to ZX7 irons lower in the set and then start them at the top with a utility iron or two uh, of the ZX utilities. Yeah, I think it's a great option. Yeah, well, let's, let's hit some shots here, Thomas. All right, let's do it. Got some pop to it. Definitely got some pop to it. 236 carry going 261. That's pretty good. With that hollow bodied face, spin rate just a little on the kind of yeah. the lower side there as well. But for me, I'm trying to use this off the tee mainly. Right. So it's a good option to get that thing to chase out there. That thing was smoked. It's got that sound of a hollow body utility iron. And I mean, it's that loud kind of bang noise off impact, which that's common. And that's the way, you know, a hollow body iron is gonna sound. But it's, it's definitely loud and it's, I would imagine the feel, it's kind of very solid and firm at impact. Yeah, the feel and also the look, this thing looks amazing looking down at. I mean, I'd, I like the compact look a little bit more, a little more appealing for, for a player, but for sure, it's a good looking club so far. It feels good, I mean, I don't know if I can hit that thing any better. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, yeah, that's it's a 240 carry going 267. Mm -hmm. And once again, you're, you're trying to, like you like to say, chase something out there off the tee with this type of club most of the time. And so it's not a huge deal if it's not 100 feet in the air like the rest. You know, you're trying, like this is 77 feet. That's probably the trajectory you're looking for with this type of club. Yeah, I could probably hit it a little higher. Maybe in this next shot, I'll try and hit it a little higher and flight it a little bit. Maybe I'm hitting out of the fairway and trying to land it on the green mm -hmm. or par five. So let's see if I can do that as well. There we go. So a little bit more of a fade shot there to get that thing to yeah. come in and land soft on the green. Carry was still close to 240 there again, but the height went from 70 feet in the air to 113 feet in the air. So. Yeah. Well, that's pretty impressive that you can just do that on command like that, but I mean, that is the type of shot though and the versatility that one of these clubs can give you. You know, you're 250 away in the fairway trying to attack a par five and two and you can launch that ball a little higher in the air if you need to and land it softly 
or you can off the tee, chase it off the tee 260 down the middle and the, this club will work for both of those scenarios. Yeah, it felt very easy to do so as well. It felt forgiving. So mm -hmm. uh, nice turf interaction there. It's trying to hit another higher shot with a little bit less curve on it this time. It's a lot of ball speed. Oh yeah. Yeah, that thing stopped within, that was 12 yards of stopping. So it's definitely coming in fairly hot, and that one spun about 1,000 RPMs mm -hmm. more than the shot that I'm trying to hit off the tee. But that gives me a chance to stop land it on the front of the green or mm -hmm. a par five and get that thing to stop fairly quick. If it got softer greens, it's gonna stop pretty quick as well. Yeah, we should touch on the stock shaft, by the way. Uh, that's the, is that the UST recoil? It is, so I'm and using so the F4, so this is this, this stiff stock okay. shaft that we've got sent to us right away. Yeah, it's a fairly easy, light golf shaft to mm -hmm. hit with as well. I have played in my utility clubs a, a lighter steel shaft there too. Okay. So not maybe quite the perfect fit for what I'm trying to do, but it seems fairly easy to hit for sure. Right, yeah. I mean, yeah. Clearly, it's, it's, the results are pretty solid so far. Yeah. I want to go back to hitting a couple more with the uh, more penetrating flight. Imagine I got some, maybe some wind into me. Yeah. A little bit more of a chaser here. I love that shot. Yeah. You could Lower. hit that shot mm -hmm. off the tee all day. Imagine there's like a bunker out there at like 270 where I'm just trying to make sure that I can't get to it. This is my, this is my perfect club right there. Maybe there's yeah. a hazard that crosses the fairway. I think it's definitely a, a great option. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so the ZX Utility, it's got some tungsten kind of in the sole area for that forgiveness to kind of reduce that twisting uh, if you do miss the center of the face, which I know you're not very familiar with doing sometimes, but <laughs> it uh, happens. <laughs> well, I guess it does happen to every golfer, but yeah. uh, and then it does have that SUP 10 kind of club face that kind of gives off that sort of hot reaction at impact that kind of pops the ball uh, off the club face. So that's, that's similar to the ZX5 irons. So that's kind of, a, that's where that transition can be really nice if you do want to blend ZX Utility, ZX5 irons, ZX7 irons is very similar construction methods really all the way down and there's a lot of similarities between all three and the differences are kind of subtle. Yeah, I definitely love the fact with Strixon where you could create a combo set. You could mm -hmm. do the ZX Utility and for me probably like a three iron. You could do ZX5 and like a four and a five mm -hmm. and then I could play ZX7 through the rest of the clubs there as well. Now those the ZX7s would also, with the, the grooves changing, would have a little bit more stopping power and workability. Right. Just stop the ball and land ball like the flag there too. So all three models for sure work together with regards to a combo set. I think there's a very good combo set out there. I'm trying to think of other manufacturers. I know we're talking Mizuno's got mm -hmm. like the MP20 line yeah. with the HMB, the MMC, and then the, the blade. Yeah. This is pretty close there as well. Yeah, yep. that's that's very, very similar. And you know, they might be touching a little bit different golfers where Mizuno's got the MMC and the MP20 that, you know, definitely in the players category where the ZX5 maybe hits the players distance yep. a little bit. But point is, you know, they got they blend them together really well. Uh, between utility all the way down to, you know, maybe the players cavity ZX7 iron set. Yeah, the I love this club. This thing is I'm smoking this thing. It's easy to hit. I can hit a flat higher shot with it. Yeah. I can hit it straighter. I can hit it lower. It's got some workability there, and it just does what I want it to do. Yeah, I mean, just, I mean, now we can. You kind of manipulated the shot a couple times with, you know, you're trying to hit a couple of them high, a couple of them low. But I mean, you're. It's a 260 club with 240 carry, which I know that's the type of number you want out of a utility iron. Um, your you know ball speed is near 150 so uh, and then I'm gonna look up this dispersion here really quick and we can see how you know that's pretty good I mean that's you're right around you know carrying it 240 pretty much every time and then that ball maybe a couple of times especially with that one that you cut a little bit yeah. drifted right but all of the rest of them are in the center yeah that one I just tried to cut so I could yeah. land a little softer on the green create a little more spin on so that's why it's a little bit further out to, to the right if I was outside, I would make an adjustment for that and aim a little left and then kind of cut it into the flag. But workability with this club, you got different options. You hit off the tee, you can hit off the ground. It's so yeah. easy to hit. Yeah, it's a 
it's going to be great for Srixon. Yeah, well, golfers that are watching this video may be interested in the Srixon ZX utility iron. Uh, maybe you want to trade in an older utility iron or a hybrid. You can do so at secondswing.com or in one of our Second Swing store locations. Um, also, again, uh, feel free to like and subscribe this video for some more club reviews, club comparisons, instructional things like that coming for you in the future. So, Thomas, thanks for breaking down the Shrixon ZX Utility for us. Yeah, not a problem.